Professor Dave here. Let's learn about James Garfield. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. James A. Garfield was the only sitting House member to be elected president, though he served less than one year due to assassination. Prior to political life, Garfield was raised in humble circumstances by a widowed mother on an Ohio farm. He entered politics as a Republican in 1856 and became the youngest member of the Ohio State Senate in 1859, opposing Confederate secession. He served as a brigadier general and later as a major general in the Union Army during the American Civil War, and he fought in the battles of Shiloh and Chickamauga. He was first elected to Congress in 1862 from Ohio and gained a reputation as a skilled orator. At the 1880 Republican National Convention, Garfield was campaign manager for Secretary of the Treasury John Sherman and gave his presidential nomination speech. When neither Sherman nor his rivals, Ulysses S. Grant and James G. Blaine, could get enough votes to secure the nomination, delegates chose Garfield as a compromise on the 36th ballot. In the presidential election, Garfield conducted a low-key front porch campaign and narrowly defeated Democrat Winfield Scott Hancock. Garfield's accomplishments as president include a renewal of presidential authority against senatorial courtesy in executive appointments, rebuilding the Navy, and purging corruption in the post office, all of which was done in an incredibly short time. Garfield made notable diplomatic and judiciary appointments, including Supreme Court Justice Stanley Matthews. Garfield advocated agricultural technology as well as civil rights for African Americans. He also proposed substantial civil service reform, signed into law by his successor, Chester Arthur, as the Pendleton Civil Service Reform Act. Garfield was shot twice by Charles Guiteau at a railroad station in Washington, D.C. on July 2, 1881. He died 11 weeks later of complications to the wounds. The culprit claimed he was upset about being passed over for the position of ambassador to France. With his term cut so short and much of it spent in ill health trying to recover from the attack, Garfield is not well remembered. Yet by his many accomplishments in such a short period, he appeared to be a president destined for greatness, making his assassination all the more tragic. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.